Hi guys, um, I am reading out of the New Testament today. I was listening to Joyce Meyer this morning and um, she said rather than listen to her, turn her off and get in this Bible, okay? Because the word of God is not a joke, it's life. It is truth, there's healing power in it, there's life in it, there's answers to all of your questions, all of your problems, anything and everything that you have a question about is in this Bible. And um, different people have different styles, different ways of, um, you know, talking about it, different ways of um, reading it. Uh, we all have our own swag. We all have our own style. We all have our own way of um, talking to other people and talking to God. And reading his word is the core thing that can keep us all focused on the same end result, which is finding Christ and um, making him the center of our life, really. Because if we don't do that, um, eventually the enemy is going to try to creep in, you know, um, and, um, and destroy, destroy families, destroy lives. I mean, without this word, without this Bible, we, we don't stand a chance. I mean, it, it is what it is. And I'm here to tell you that today because I woke up, um, a little bit, uh, unsure. I don't know why. I just had this feeling of uncertainty. And so I started to pray. Of course, I had to keep on moving, get my kids to school, get, you know, get things going for the day. But essentially what, what it is, is I, I didn't read the word. And, you know, Joyce Meyer was talking about that in her message today, in her recent message, which was read the Bible. Instead of watching me, she said, I would rather you read your Bible. Okay. So, so I listened to the rest of her message, but then when I got home, um, I, I opened up the Bible and I've been reading out of the Old Testament because I'm just trying to read right now out of, um, you know, in order, just in order. And today the Lord showed me to read out of the New Testament and to start with the very first chapter, which is Matthew. And this is uh, the verse that I'm going to read. I'm going to read Matthew 8, 5, okay? Um, it's... It's the faith of the centurion, all right? So here we go. When Jesus entered, had entered Capernaum, a centurion came to him asking for help. Lord, he said, my servant lies at home paralyzed and in terrible suffering. Jesus said to him, I will go and heal him. The centurion replied, Lord, I do not deserve to have you come under my roof, but just say the word and my servant will be healed. For I myself am a man under authority with soldiers under me. I tell this one go and he goes and that one come and he comes. I say to my servant, do this and he does it. When Jesus heard this, he was astonished. Okay, astonished. Can you imagine Jesus being astonished over hearing this guy tell him this? Okay. When Jesus heard this, he was astonished and said to those following him, I tell you the truth. I have not found anyone in Israel with such great faith. I say to you that many will come from the east and the west and will take their places at the feast with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. But the subjects of the kingdom will be thrown outside into the darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Then Jesus said to the centurion, go, it will be done just as you believed it would. And his servant was healed at that very hour. Amen. Um, 
You know, there's a lot of things that I battle on a daily basis. And there are people out there that are going through the same thing, if not more. But you know something? If you read this word and you really meditate on how much he loves you, how much he loves us, how much he, he could care less about this Louis Vuitton do-rag I'm wearing. He really could care less about it. He cares about this, what's in your heart, how you really feel about reading this Bible, why you're watching the people that you watch. Who, who is the one that is going to do the healing? Who? Is it going to be Kim Kardashian? Is it going to be the people of this world that they're cute, they're beautiful to look at? But how is the heart? The heart. You have to know what's in your own heart. And if you don't have the right stuff in it, then you got to read this Bible to, to put it in there. And I, I'm guilty of a lot of sin. I've done things in my life I'm not proud of, but I'm not ashamed because of this word. Because I know that I repented for, for a lot of my actions that weren't good. But now I can see. It's, it's, it's like, it's like uh, Bishop Jakes was saying in his, one of his sermons recently. He wears glasses so he can see. And in my family, we always make this joke. It actually comes from the Jerky Boys, comedians. I can't see so good. Well, you know what? I can see now. And I got me some glasses. And I'm also wearing this shirt. Look what it says. This girl runs on coffee and Jesus. And that's the truth. And that's what makes me feel energetic and happy and alive again. I don't wake up feeling all wonderful all the time. I really don't. And I don't think that there's a lot of people that understand how quickly that can change if you read the word and if you listen to the people that are giving you messages to direct you to read it. Like I did today. I said, you know what? Joyce is going to say something and it's going to push me or inspire me or motivate me to read this word, which is what I did. And now I feel better. I'm sharing it with you. And now hopefully you're going to share it with your people or your viewers or get on Instagram, get on Facebook and say something nice. Stop talking about foolish things. It doesn't matter. That stuff doesn't matter. Okay. It used to matter to me. Before I really, you know, sought out God, and I have been a Christian my, you know, my whole life, but now is the time for my spiritual maturity, and the way for me to spiritually mature is to read this word, okay? And uh, however you do it, when you do it, how you do it, is up to you, but... Make sure it's out of, you know, the Holy Bible. You want to read King James or the New International Version. You want to read the Holy Bible, okay? That's my recommendation and my advice to you today. So um, I got advised by somebody that I respect and admire. And now if you respect and admire me and you're looking to hear something from me, I'm going to tell you what I learned this morning Um from from a mentor is read the bible okay and enjoy your day you don't have hey it doesn't mean you can't enjoy the things you enjoy i mean i put my louis vuitton do rag on yeah i put it on because i like it but you know what doesn't mean you know what it really doesn't that's that's what you need right there all right take this thing off <laughs> Love you guys. Bye.